Hi guys, this is Shaw here at the Tech Book, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a currency exchange program and it's only going to cater for two currencies so we're going to do dollars and pounds so first you want to do print a currency just to tell, just to inform the user that it's a currency exchange system and then what you want to do is you want to give an input for the user so we'll, I'll call it EX just just a short form of exchange and put an input uh, a four pounds two dollars and b four dollars two pounds okay so what you want to do next is you want to give an if statement so if x is double equal to a then you put a colon you put press enter and you make sure that your variable is a suitable variable so you understand it and they can and a variable can never be like this so ensure that there's no gaps between your variable <coughs> you're gonna do uh you want to give another input so i'll in this case i'll call it ptd because you want to know pounds to dollars input how much would you like to convert okay then what you want to do is you want to go on to the next line and you want to create a formula so first before we create the formula we need to know the exchange rate from pounds to dollars so from pounds to dollars it is 1.43 uh, just check online then what you want to do is you want to do uh, so let's just say I'm just going to call it F which means final formula or just formula is equal to PTD you put an asterisk to represent the multiply and you put in that 1.43 should be like that and then what you want to do is you want to print it is and then you want to put a dollar sign then you want to put a comma here and you want to put f and you want to take this input as a float so it can accept decimal numbers as well as whole numbers and to ensure that it works we'll just give it a check Okay, so you want to do A, 56, and as you can see, it works fine. It is $80.08. If you want it to round to two decimal places, all you have to do is you have to firstly, so you have to do, try, I'm just going to call it F2 is equal to, then you do round. As you can see, it's gone purple, means that it's a function. Then you want to do F, and then you put a comma and two. That, that two just means that it's two decimal places. And then what you want to do is you want to save it again, rerun it. You have to enter a value that has probably more than that. I'm not sure which one does, but I'll just I'll just have it like that. And no, it does not seem to be working. I'll recheck that and let notify you afterwards if you're subscribed. So we'll just take that out for now. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to put this F2. There we go. <clears throat> it should work now according to me. Uh, 56.78. And there you go, it rounded, it rounded it. However, since it was only 81.2, it doesn't round it to 81.20. So, yeah. What you want to do is you want to copy this. You want to paste it over here. Just change this to B. And you want to chain, chain this to the value that's over here. So, 1 USD is equal to 70 GBP. So, you want to go back to your program. And you want to put 70 over here. So, 0 0.7. You can put a zero as well, but it doesn't matter. And, if, and you want to change this sign to a pound and ensure that you validate all your inputs. So this one would be a string in that case. Rerun it. And you want to do B, 56 pounds. Is 56 dollars is 39 pounds and 20 pence. And that will do for me in this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you, and bye.